Thank you for having me today for the Chamber's Military Appreciation Luncheon. I'm honored to be here to pay tribute to the brave men and women who represent the highest level of public service to our great nation. I want to thank Mike Hightower for that kind introduction and thank you for your service to our country. Jacksonville is proud to have someone like Mike Hightower in our community who's serving not only Jacksonville, but Florida and the country. Let's give him a hand for his leadership. Chairman Hightower recognized some of the elected officials. I want to acknowledge some of them today. And I start off with my good friend, Andy Crenshaw. Thank you for being here. Let's give him a hand. Who fights for military families. Councilman Bill Bishop and his wife, Melody, is here. Councilman Greg Anderson is here. Councilman Reggie Brown, thank you for your service to our country as well. I want to thank... Uh, Councilman Gifford, Bill Gifford is here. Councilwoman Lori Boria is here. Councilman Don Redmond. General Fleming. Harrison Conyers on my staff. David Roman, who served in the Marines, and Allison Miller. Let's give them all a hand for their leadership. I also want to acknowledge Commander of the Navy Region Southeast, Rear Admiral Jack Scobie, my good friend Wally and Allison Lee with the Chamber, Terry West, who I was with earlier with Vice Star, Randy Goodwin with PRI, and my good friend Ron Autry right there. Let's give them all a hand. I want to especially thank all of our military men and women today. It is an amazing feeling to know we can enjoy events like this while every day there are people out there fighting and dying for our freedom. You are our military personnel, sailors, soldiers, Marines, airmen, and members of the Coast Guard in uniform. But in Jacksonville, you will always be our brothers, sisters, neighbors, and friends. I extend my thanks not just as mayor, but as a father who can watch his two boys grow in a free country built and preserved by the heroism of souls who will live forever in the spirit of sacrifice, selflessness, deeds. Our military in Jacksonville is a part of our culture. One in four of our residents is either a veteran or still serving. We are proud to have every one of them here. And their presence does so much for us. Our military present, presents, provides a $12.2 billion economic impact annually for our great city of Jacksonville and $14.1 billion throughout the Northeast. These projects like Jack's Naval Hospital, means so much to our city. It's more than about a job, but it's about the quality of life. And they are simply here because Jacksonville takes care of its military. And I am proud to be the mayor of a city that has so much at stake and means so much to the defense of our nation. Our facilities for the Navy, Marines, and Coast Guard position us as a major player in our nation's defense. That's why we will get an aircraft carrier at Mayport. The Florida congressional delegation wants it, and your mayor is backing it 100%. And I know with Congressman Andrew Crenshaw and Corrine Brown and Rubio and Nelson and Mike and all the others, it's going to happen. Let's give them a hand for their leadership. As Veteran Day approaches, I want you to know your mayor is with you. You are in my prayers, and you have all my respect as a citizen of this great nation. In the book of Joshua, first chapter in the ninth verse, it says, be strong and courageous. 
Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God shine his light upon you as you serve our great nation. I will be ever so grateful, indebted to you and your family. Words cannot express our great, deep appreciation for all that you do. May God continue to bless you. And may God bless Jacksonville and God bless the United States of America. Thank you so much.